MK, you've had the guys, you've had your knockouts, you've had your submissions. How about a girl fight? The women can do it too, that's what I say. This one is Vicky Watts versus Michelle Tyler. My name's Michelle Tyler. I'm 22, approximately, and I'm fighting out of London Sheep Fighters. I'm from Reading. My name's Vicky Watts. I'm 36 years old, and I come from Hull, and I train out of uh, Next Generation in Liverpool. Any of you guys out there think it's hard to get in the cage and fight? It's even harder for a woman. Firstly, you have to find people to train with. There's not many girls to train with, no opponents to fight. So it's been a long wait, and now I'll be fighting Vicky Watts. I've been training martial arts for about 10 years, um, in different you know, combat sports, but um, decided to get into MMA about two years ago. Really liked it, loved the cross training, and uh, you know, I thought it was time to test my skills and see what I'm about. I've been under a lot of pressure recently, not just with the fight and the training, also all the media, media attention that I've been getting, um, centre pages of uh, certain newspapers. So I think all the pressure is just going to make me want this fight even harder. Michelle, it's not just about me and you fighting tonight, it's about showing girls in the MMA world just what we're about, you know, that girls can actually train just as hard as the guys, you know, fight as hard. So let's get out there tonight, you know, show our skills and, uh, you know, let's see what happens. Hey Vicky, I'm sure you've been waiting for this fight as long as I have, so let's just get in the cage and prove to everyone here that girls can fight just as good as the guys. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your first fighter to the cage, Vicky Watts! So here we go, and it's all girl action here at Ultimate Challenge, Kings of the Cage. Making her way to the cage is Vicky Watson. Ian, I want to bring you in here. There's been a lot of controversy and a lot of discussion going on for many a year now around women competing in MMA. Can I just gather your opinion, please, sir? You know what? If women want to fight, I say let them. It's now into the era of equal rights. Women train just as hard as men. Why shouldn't they fight just as hard as men? You know, if it's two equals fighting in a cage, same sex, same weight, why not let them? You know, I mean, we all go on about these equal rights and everything else, and then people turn around and say girls shouldn't be fighting. You know, it's a skill. They're not out on the street. They're not hitting each other with bricks and bottles and pulling hair. This is a skilled sport. So, yes, the answer to your question is let them fight. But do you think it generally it appeals to your general public? Well, I mean, there's some people, you know, they, they like to see the men with the big knockouts and you know the powerful slams and the ground and pound and they say that the women just haven't got that you know suave about them like the men have you know but it's like everything else we've got every weight class for the men so you've got every choice for the men why not just enjoy something a little bit different and that's the women showing their skills also so you heard it there from ian freeman right now vicky watts circles the cage as she gets ready to face Michelle Tyler. And please welcome her opponent, Michelle Tyler! Fighting out of London, shoot fighters are making her way to the cage now. Michelle Tyler. And both these girls, I have to say, look very focused and very mature for debut fighters. Well, the beautiful Michelle Tyler coming down like it's a catwalk. She means business. Coming from the London shoot fighters. But let's not take anything away from Vicky Watts. I've had the pleasure of going to Vicky Watts' gym and conducting two seminars. She is a little wildcat. She is strong, she's powerful for her size, and she is trained by Rosie Sexton. And everybody knows there's no one better than Rosie Sexton in the female category. That's right, Ben, if I can bring you in here. Rosie Sexton, I mean... A fantastic veteran, obviously, fought all over the world. But picking up on something that you said earlier, Ian, the key words you said in that dialogue for me was, was sport. It is a sport, and at the end of the day, 
If you told women that they couldn't compete in athletics, in football, in anything like that, there'd be uproar. It's a disciplined sport, despite what the public may think. We have rules and we have regulations, and I don't see in the modern era why there's any reason that women can't step up and fight a light light. You say as long as they're matched up equally and evenly, I don't, I don't see a problem with that. Ben, I couldn't have put it any better myself. Right now, Michelle Tyler gets her last pre-fight checks. Looks very focused as she circles the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, our next fight is in the Ultimate Challenge Women's Flyweight Division and sponsored by Bonded by Blood, the story of the rise to power of the Essex Boys. Starring Terry Stone. DVD available December 27th. And now, please welcome your first fighter, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist making her MMA debut. She weighed in at 51 kilograms. She stands five feet tall, fighting out of modern day martial arts and next generation, Vicky Watts. And her opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, also making her MMA debut. She weighed in at 51 kilograms. She stands five feet, five inches tall. Fighting out of London Shoot Fighters, Michelle Tyler. And when the action begins, your referee is Andy Sledge. The promoter's okay, it. Okay, girls, in we come. Okay, three fives, MMA rules, any questions for me? Remember, there's no elbows to the head of a downed opponent. Protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my words of command at all times. If I tell you to stop, you stop. Touch gloves, let's get ready for war. You know what, guys, this is one of these fights where you don't really want to have a, a, a loser. We always want winners, but you don't want to have a loser. Both girls, just to get in here, are champions in my eyes. There's a lot of men out there who wouldn't set foot inside there of a cage. And ready? now we have two girls. Let's fight. That's right. And they're about to get it underway. Here in this under 60 kilograms all girls fight. Vicky Watts in the leggings and black shorts. Michelle Tyler in the short shorts. Well, Michelle Tyler using that reach advantage. She's keeping on the outside of Vicky Watts. But look at Vicky, nice and calm, nice and cool. I see that's what I'm saying about these. Why shouldn't they be? Look, look how controlled they are. Look how cool they are. You know, they're not just rushing in, grabbing hair and pulling. They, 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 these are fighters. These two are fighters, and they deserve to be in here. Michelle Tyler looking the more comfortable standing up for me. If we even look at the, the attire of, uh, of Vicky, what she's there with grappling tights on and a rash guard on as well. So. Maybe looking for the takedown to see if she can get on the inside because she's given up quite a lot of reach. She needs to get on the inside, Ben, definitely. Whether she needs punches or whether she needs a takedown, she needs to get underneath them big, long arms of Michelle Tyler. Michelle Tyler coming in with a flurry of punches. Big overhand right. Vicky is on her back foot. Great work by Michelle oh, Tyler. Got this Where's the Michelle Tyler? Oh, my God. Huge slam. Well, wow. we see where Michelle Tyler wants his fight, and that's on its feet. But what a pickup and the slam, the strength of Michelle Tyler. And that's going to send a clear message to her opponent, which has got that strength advantage. As you see, quite literally just ragdolled her to the floor, landed a few shots, and then realized that she'd be playing into her opponent's game. She went into a guard, so just stood back up and called the fight. And once again, I like the way she's starting things off with that overhand and then following it up with some shots underneath. That's right, it's a good right hand, she throws, she throws it comfortably. Almost waits for Vicky to step that way before she throws it. Good work again by Tyler to keep the range and keep the distance. 
and Ian, just to touch on something you said earlier, it's one thing being able to throw the shots, but it's a completely different skill in using your own range against your opponent. And I think that's what we're seeing Michelle Tyler do here. Well, Michelle Tyler's definitely done stand-up before. She looks absolutely awesome. You know what, Vicky's looking good too. The only difference is, is Vicky kind of get her range. Vicky kind of get in there. Now big knees coming from Michelle Tyler. Overhand dirty boxing coming from Vicky Watts. Oh my Whoa. God! Big straight right hand from Michelle Tyler. Michelle Tyler smiles as she fires those hammer fists. Oh wow. Michelle Tyler has strong punches. But again, take your hat off to Vicky Watts. She got through that punch and she's managed to get back to her feet. Wow, what Tyler needs to do from this position realistically if she wants to maintain the strike and is to try and circle off the cage as she's done there. And maintain, maybe look to break back and maintain the distance. Definitely the stronger of the two is Michelle Tyler. Chopping right hand as she breaks there. Rob, what was your question you said to me before they walked in the cage? Should girls do it? How exciting is this? That's right, both girls looking on good form. Michelle Tyler on point at the moment as she looks to dominate this fight against the shorter Vicky Watts who comes in firing. Nice uppercut there. I like how she's mixing up levels as well as punches. Watts kind of overcommitted for me a little bit on that one. Well, but she connects it. Vicky Watts connects with the overhand right. She's got strong punches of her own. Wow, that's the grit. That's the determination. I was talking about Vicky Watts. The alley cat. She has fire. Calling it on, smiles at Michelle Tyler. Does she know something we don't? Well, she's obviously not intimidated by Michelle Tyler's punches. Although Michelle Tyler, she is using that ring like a, wow, a true professional. That's right, and as you said, Ian, great hands, throwing punches in bunches. What's for me now in the, la the last stage of this being the more aggressive coming forward? Tyler may be looking to sit back and counter fight. And oh, a big overcut there by Tyler. And it's what you should do, really. Set at the end of that jab and use it to start up combinations. I think that uppercut has caused a little possible a little possible cut on top of Vicky Watt's forehead. I'm not I, sure if it has, but I can looks. actually see Mattel, Michelle Tyler leaning back a little bit. She's waiting for Vicky Watts to come in so that when she, she leans back, boom, there you go, and then throws that uppercut. Her body language was telling me that she's ready for it. She's leaning back on that back foot. Oh, nice clinch there. Well, this fight hasn't gone to the ground yet, so what does Vicky Watts have if she gets it down to the ground? Well, it could be too little too late as we enter the last 10 seconds of the first round. And let's be honest, guys, that was a Michelle Tyler round, able to control that round completely upright. Well, I've got to totally agree there. Michelle Tyler, cool, calm, collective. But you know what it is? I can't, I, I just... The, there's the big punch. That was a big overhand by Michelle Tyler. But then, again, the resilience of Vicky Watts. She steadied herself, brought her guard up, but that was a huge takedown. The well, strength of Michelle Tyler. Vicky Watts went straight for an armbar, picked up, boom, watch the armbar come on. There they, we go. She's thinking. She, she grabbed, grabbed the wrong she arm. She grabbed the wrong arm, but she's thinking. That's the good thing. But wow, what strength from Michelle Tyler. What I'd like to see in the second round, me, is we see we see Tyler there throw some nice, nice shots. It's a maybe to see a land as we see a huge shot there. A land a few more kicks and use maybe kicks to, to dominate the range and try and set up combinations. And there's that big uppercut we talked about right on the money. Well, there's one thing you will not hear me say in this fight, and that is anything really? negative towards really? either one of these girls. That first round alone proves they are well worthy of being in here, and I am well impressed by both fighters. Michelle Tyler using her stand-up and her reach to her advantage. She knows she's got the better stand-up. She knows she's got a knockout punch because she's already dropped Vicky, but Vicky what? Wow, that was beautiful retaliation, unfortunate not to land, but looked just as dangerous as Michelle Tyler. Both girls very, very dangerous with their hands, but Tyler with a clear advantage in the reach department, and she's using it well and truly to her advantage as they clinch and go to the cage.
Vicky Watts with a double underhook that gets broken. I was just about to see her, Rob. She had the double underhook there, but Michelle did well to stop it. It would be nice to see this fight go to the ground, just to see what their ground game is like. But you cannot knock either one of the stand-up, although Michelle Tyler is clinically better. I think the problem Vicky Watts has, and it goes without saying, is the reach advantage. She needs to get on the inside, and every time she tries, she's getting caught with an uppercut. Tyler, for me, showed a, lot, a good selection of punches, but for me, the most effective shot, apart from that uppercut, is that nice overhand. I'd like to see her maybe link that up with two, three, four punches, maybe, and give her opponent something to think about. We're into seven minutes of an awesome fight. And look at them, they're just bouncing around the ring as if they're just getting in there. Vicky Watts, she's just relentless. She just keeps coming forward, trying to find that range, trying to get in close enough to take the fight to ground, possibly. Cuts off the ring very oh, well. Right hand by Vicky Watts. Right. He's only got to catch Michelle with a few of those and it will put Michelle even more on her back foot. Michelle coming in with knees. Clipping right hand from Watts again as she shoots for the takedown, doesn't get it, big knee on the way out. But Vicky Watts undaunted keeps coming forward and I think that's something you touched on quite nicely at the start there, Rob. Very relentless from Watts. And it's got to be demoralising if you're, if you're Michelle Tyler facing somebody like that who just keeps coming forward as you keep landing with shots. It's got to play in your mind a little bit. You've got to be thinking, what have I got to do to put this person away? Vicky is now getting away. She's starting to connect now. She's just connected with the left hook. It was an overhand right before that. And she can take a punch as well, can little Vicky? That's right. Swallowed a big shot in the first round. Done very well in the second. Well, the pace slowing down just a little bit, but not enough to be bored of this fight. Michelle Tyler using the cage to her advantage, and again with a flurry of punches. Both trading huge lever. And you're right, I believe that it doesn't matter what sex they are, a well-matched fight is a well-matched fight. And this is a well-matched fight. The only thing which is not matched is the height. But that is something out of everyone's control. The weight is the same. They're both female and they're both awesome fighters. I mean, look at the stand-up that they've got. This can put a lot of male fighters to shame. Big overhand right there. Vicky Watts salutes to say that I caught her for once. Gets inside, gets nice strapped to the body. I think Michelle Tyler's being given a lot to think about in this second round. I think you're right, Ian. I think Vicky is finding a range, and once again, that punch. She's done well to weather the early storm, but now she's settling into the fight a little bit more. The punches for me are coming a lot crisper as well. She's looking, she's got a lot more intention in those shots. And her ring control is excellent. The way she's cutting Michelle Tyler off is spot on. She's doing such a fantastic job. Rob, you spotted that well. I noticed it earlier, but you spotted that well. That really good ring control. Oh, Michelle Tyler going for the clinch. Is this a clinch? Oh, nice knee. Knee to the body of Michelle Tyler. Is Michelle Tyler getting a little bit tired? Normally when you find somebody wants to clinch, it's because they want a bit of a breather. Big overhand right. This has been action from bell to bell, gentlemen. What a fantastic tussle. We've got just over 15 seconds left. And neither fighter seems to show any signs of wanting to slow down. What a fantastic advert for women's MMA. This fight's really turning into... Beautiful work by Michelle Tyler to escape. She went for the underhook, scooted her body out. And what a second round. What a fight this has been between these two ladies. Wow. First round, definitely Michelle Tyler. And I tell you what, if the judges go for that little flurry or the one or two little flurries that Vicky Watts had, she could have pulled her round back there. Here he comes. Leg kick by Vicky Watts. She's coming forward all the time. She's never once backed up. There's that overhand again. Tried for the to catch the leg, did Michelle. Michelle clinching more in this round than she did in the first round. I think that's because she realizes that if she's caught in that range where Vicky Watts is comfortable, the power that Vicky can generate, 
will put her Boom. away. You can see from that big right hand. And look at the way Vicky Watts is moving around above our position now. You'd think she was just getting ready to come out for it. And she's so she is the third up. round. She has just looked down on the commentary box, clenched both fists, clenched her teeth, looked at me, and went, Ugh! Vicky Watts wants this fight. Here we go, final round. You ready? You ready? Let's fight. Survival of the fittest. Vicky Watts versus Michelle Tyler. Who has got it left in this, the third and final round? Nice shot there, but well spotted by Michelle. Good work by Watts on the inside again. She's looking more and more dangerous as she finds that range. And I believe Michelle Tyler's got a, a well under the left eye now. The eye is slightly closed, Rob, you're right. Could that be giving her problems? And it's Tyler again looks to shoot, but catches what? Normally when you find someone wants to shoot and clinch like that, it's because they're tired. I think that's a good spot, Rob. I think that eye is giving her problems. We can see her move, stop moving in, in a similar fashion. It seems to be throwing strikes very much from a, a certain position. Watts has got to see that and think that a hook around the outside, a big right, a big chopping right could really pay dividends at this juncture. Maybe, maybe Michelle can't see the right hand of what's coming over the top. Oh, nice by Michelle Tyler, catching the leg and throwing a big right. Right, but she had to reach down low to catch that leg, left herself open. She has to be careful, as I say that, she lands a beautiful uppercut. How tough are these girls? You know what I mean? They're getting hit in their head like this and they are just coming forward. That's right. 100% real leather being traded up there. Well, the ring craft of Michelle Tyler side to side, using the punches, slipping the punches. And Vicky Watts stalking her opponent, cutting off the cage. Trying to get the distance, trying to get inside to throw them big bombs. Oh, big looping hook again from Vicky Watts as Tyler broke away. Vicky Watts is fearless. Stalking her. Oh! oh! oh connected! Both girls connected with huge shots, but it's Tyler that looks to get the finish. Vicky Watts, is she still there? Is she still able to fight her way back? The referee's looking on, and I think she's back, guys. I think she's there, Vicky defending Watts. and bringing her legs up high. Vicky Watts has got the heart of a lion. That was a plum shot. Both fighters hit each other exactly the same time. Michelle Tyler stepped back because she got hit, but Vicky Watts hit the floor. But the resilience of Vicky Watts' chin to be able to hang on and still be in this fight after that. Wow, unbelievable. Nice back to her feet, that was quick. I'm sure Michelle wanted her back to her feet so she could try and knock her down again, but it was good for Vicky Watts to get back to her feet. It's sure her head is clear, but look at the wealth over the left eye. Oh, and again. oh my God, it's her, it's down, it's, it's over. Shot. Wow. Michelle Tyler, the striking ability. Three times in this fight she has knocked down Vicky Watts, but ladies and gentlemen, Vicky Watts, what a warrior. I think that may have been a broken nose, Ian. She's just above our position. And it's the nose that seems to be giving her problems. Looking at the replay, you can see it was a fantastic fight. Big right hand connect. Beautiful. Michelle Tyler has been throwing that overhand right throughout the whole of the fight. And, and you, this time it connected. You could see what spread her nose. And if you can see her above our position. Boom! Ooh. Wow, that is enough to put any man down. Yet Vicky Watts still stands on her feet, but she is in trouble. She decides she's had enough. She drops down to her feet, but who could blame her? The punishment from Michelle Tyler. What a war. Absolute war with the ladies here at Ultimate Challenge. All out action. And once again, we see the referee straight in there. It's a very good call from referee Grant Waterman.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Referee Grant Waterman calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds in the third round. Declaring your winner by TKO, Michelle Tyler! And your runner-up, Vicki Watts. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for these two cage warriors! Michelle, Michelle, just quickly, on this side. All I can say is, wow, unbelievable. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty wicked, actually. Yeah, that was really exciting. From the moment I walked in, I was loving it. So, yeah. I mean, you, you, you seem to be dominating the stand-up. Um, you know, I was expecting to see some more kicks, because I know you've got some great kicks. You didn't throw one kick for the whole fight. Uh, no, I, I know she's a very good grappler and a wrestler, and I know her plan would have been to try and take me down. So obviously, there's a danger if you're throwing a lot of kicks of getting taken down. So I was told to avoid the low kicks. <laughs> it was hard. I wanted to throw in a few, but it was best that I didn't by the looks of things. I mean, it was a great fight. So far, fight of the night, guys. I, I don't know. I might have to put my foot down, because... You know, I, I, I don't know about this. You're showing, the, you're showing the guys how to do it. Amazing stoppage. I think you broke her nose. I'm sorry. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I don't know about this, guys. I don't know if we should support this, because sooner or later, we're going to have half-naked blokes walking around here holding up ring cards. Anyway. <laughs> foot down. I'm going to have to put my foot down. Ladies and gentlemen, amazing victory. Let's hear it for your winner, Michelle. Back to you, Dave. Your time is up.